Oh, it's all about the pizzas right here on Afternoon Express today. Now, if you've ever seen a pizza being flung into the air and then you thought to yourself, hmm, I'd like to try that. Well, you're in the right, you know, space, in the right zone because right now we're back in the kitchen uh, with head Pizziaolo <laughs> of Ferdinando's Pizza, Diego Milesi, as he shows us how to do just that. And, and many of us, Diego, we've seen this happen. We've seen the chefs almost show off, really, happen. on TV. There is, there is actually Pizza Olympic Games. So they have like different sections and they do around the world in Italy, in America, so which there is freestyle. So it's quite a competitive thing to do. Yeah, yeah, it's very fun. It's, I will not suggest it to do it for your quality purpose because okay. the dough will be a little bit different, otherwise it will just fall apart, but uh, it, it is very possible. And yeah. especially not for, a, for an amateur or a first-timer like me. But your dough, I know that the, when we started this uh, entire yes. process, you couldn't get through, uh, you know, finishing your dough just yet, but how did you get here? So, okay, we, we, we get to a point which I was about to Add the salt, okay. and, um, and then you have to kind of start to knead the dough. When you knead it, the dough is a kind of fold and stretch kind of um, motion you give to it. The normal way. Normal way, mm. yeah, just like for bread and pizza is very similar. And then you add a bit of oil and you just keep kneading it to absorb the oil into the dough. Okay. So the oil is there so that the, the dough doesn't get crusty. I want you to show me like how cool. you would do it at your restaurant, so let's go for it. Cool. So usually we're working on the amount of dough you want for a pizza, uh -huh. a normal 30 centimeter pizza, we're talking about 250 degree, um, grams of, of dough, more or less, 150, some people go to 300. Depends if you want a Napolitan style with a big crust, uh -huh. like the rubber boat kind of pizza you yeah, see now. Like in a, you're entering a competition. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's quite satisfying to do it, but uh, yeah. So ideally I would suggest don't use rolling pin. Because pizza is about touch, it's about like the sharing of energy. Mm. So Show I, us, let's simple. go. So your, here is your motion, your end. Uh -huh. So if you do a, a round pizza, then you're kind of like pushing and you're kind of using your finger to open it up in this way. You see, you kind of start to define the shape of your dough. Oh, just, yeah. just like that. So you're monitoring as you go along. So it's mm. not a surprise when ah, it ends absolutely. up Absolutely. Yeah. You need to have the touch. That's why it's like, take a little bit of a practice to get it right. But I can show you, yeah, like, if, if perhaps we had to do a pizza in a pizza oven with a, with a wood fire, mm. this is very similar to what we're going to have to do. So you see, we're leaving the crust, and the crust work has a way to hold all the flavor together. Mm -hmm. so, so there is a um, mixing of flavors, so the fat will melt from your salami, your bacon, or whatever you put on, chicken, whatever you want to put, of course, will, will sink into the tomato sauce, it change the flavor of the pizza. So it's not only about the topping you're putting on, it's about like how they, when they're cooking together, they kind of like create a unique flavor into whatever it is. We are often get it wrong is how big or how thick to make that crust. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, is, is, is the secret of the dough. <laughs> because if the dough is nice and full of hair, then your crust can be quite, quite big, it will not be heavy. Okay. But if your dough is not ready, so you can see when I push down, it's kind of like bouncing back up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's got bounce back. Yeah but not too much. If you stay down, that means there is not enough hair inside the dough. Okay. If, if you stay down. But if you come up, that means it's almost like a sponge. Are we going to do the flip? <laughs> come on, Diego. <laughs> We're going to have a really break. You but... can do it. Can... Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah, Diego. Okay, okay, I mean, listen, I mean, that is, that, that's impressive because if I tried to do that, let's just say there'd be no pizza for anyone to have at the end of the show. This we can fix it just because it's right. This wouldn't be like a success in my restaurant. <laughs> but anyway, it's fun to do. <laughs> it is fun. It can be lots of fun, the process. Yeah. So once you have like more or less the size of the yeah. trade, I would suggest you, even with your hand or a brush or, or a sponge or something, you put mm. a little bit of oil on the tray. That's, that is important for two reasons. First, does it make your pizza stick to the tray? Yes. A second, will make it stick. So when you put in the, the dough on something wet, you yeah. can just lead there and doesn't stretch back to, to size because it's wet. Okay. But then after cook, the oil prevented to stick to the tray, so you don't have a pizza which is, which is sticking there. You'll get nowhere without the oil. Let's just put it that way. Oil is the secret. Olive oil, ideally. We put olive oil on everything in Italy. We use it for our hairs, for our skin, for our food. <laughs> Explains <laughs> the sheen on your hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give away secrets here. <laughs> but just a little bit. Doesn't have to be wet, wet, mm -hmm. as you can see. Just a little bit of moist. You don't want it swimming in the oil. No, otherwise you're going to have a different pizza, which is called a fried pizza. Is that a thing? Delicious. They, they are very delicious, <laughs> okay, actually. Great. Yeah. So you get to a point of see this pizza now. Let's see if we can fix it because I've been. But when you work oh, on you a tray, do that. yeah. 
The tray is very forgiving. As you see, this pizza is broken. Probably yeah. it's a good idea to show to people in this way because eventually, when, when it's cooking, the hole will not be a problem, you know, mm -hmm. like because you're working on a tray. If you work on a, on a pizza stone or on a pizza oven, then it might be a problem because the tomato will just go through the, through the hole yeah. and make the pizza stick in the oven and then it's not more pizza happening there. So it's a lot of smoke, but not much roast. Uh, what is the average time it takes you to make a pizza using this uh, sort of format or style? Uh, well, it can be quite quickly. Obviously, it depends on the setup and, uh, mm. and uh, how confident you are in the kitchen and your tools and, and, uh, and things. But I'm talking for me to make a pizza, I would say like if about four minutes, like start to end, mm -hmm. out of the oven, usually in, a, in, a, in, a, in so, my restaurant. So, so how do we know when this is ready to go into uh, our oven? or going to the next now, this, uh, this, 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 stage. This is ready. As you see, like the hairiness, yeah. you're doing a good job there, it's good. Mm. So the hairiness basically is what you want the dough to be before you bake it. Don't bake a dough which is like still very um, saturated, very like uh, um, firm. Okay. So you want that hairiness we were talking which about. Which is what, what I'm getting. Out. So I've done this correctly, yeah. everybody. Okay, and do you I see did... from the expert himself? That's the nice thing about making pizzas that you can have lots of fun with it. Make, give it a rustic feel. And make you get a mistake sometimes, and it's still working. <laughs> you calling this a mistake? Come on, Diego. Okay, so listen, uh, we are learning from a pro, a master at this himself. It's Diego. He's going to be showing us how to now bring all of the toppings in a little bit later on. You want to make sure that you do stick around for it. Okay, let's yeah. find this one in the moment, and we'll see you soon. And now you can put it on the tray. Oh. Whoop! <laughs> We'll see you shortly. <laughs>